This is Oog from eHowWebDesign.com uh, with a short training video on how to crop an image and reduce file size, but this time without using any software, simply using some freely available um, and free, more importantly, um, online tools. Now what I'm trying to do here is uh, create an image at 900 by 400 pixels to put on this blog post. Um, so uh, let's head over to the website that will allow me to do this. Um, I'm using something called canva.com, C-A-N-V-A.com. Um, this is a site which allows really non-designers or um, people who don't really use the technology that much to create uh, all sorts of designs for blog posts and other advertising. Um, but one of the handy features is it lets you upload your own image to create your own designs. And in this case, the design we're going to create is simply an image at the right size. You'll need to sign up for an account, but it's all free. Um, and in fact, if you don't use their uh, premium images, the result is also free, so it's a pretty handy piece of software to use. So once you've signed up, you should see a screen like this. And if you head to the top right-hand side of the screen, you will see uh, the option to use your own custom dimensions to create a document. So we're going to click on that. And um, I've already pre-selected it because I've um, had a go before, but you would here put in the size in pixels. I'd recommend working in pixels because that's where you want to end up. So 900 by 400. And once you're happy with that, click on Design and it will create a canvas for you to um, design on, which will be 900 by 400. Um, what you then need to do is upload your image um, at the um, size that it is currently. So if I go to Uploads on here, you'll see I've actually uploaded a couple of versions before, but I'll just show you the step quickly. Um, go and You just simply go and find your image, um, and once you're in that upload screen, you grab the image here and click, drag it, this goes grey, drop it, and it will start uploading in the background. Uh, but we don't need to wait for this because I've already done it. Oh, here's one I prepared earlier, which I think is appropriate for cupcakes. So um, to add the um, image to your design, you simply click on it, it will appear. Um, and because it's a reasonably high definition image to start with, um, in fact, this one, that's it. It just took a while for the website to react. You can then now drag it, uh, drag the handle to resize it, to the size that you need it to be, so it covers the entire um, rectangle. So here's night covers a rectangle, click away from it, and there you go, there's a 900 by 400 image. Um, if you needed to do more than one, you can actually um, copy this one down, delete the image, start again. So if I wanted another one, I could just copy this, um, click on the image itself, and here there's a little bin, delete it, so I've got a second blank canvas, and if I wanted a third, I could just copy it down, upload more images. Um, it's quite handy if you have got more, more than one image to do at any one time. So let me just delete those for now because we don't need them. Um, when you're done, two things. Um, give it a name. So let's call it my blog post image. Um, 900 by 400. Done. Um, make sure that it's saved. It doesn't always save immediately. So you can see here there's unsaved changes. Um, in order to force it to save, just click on File, and that will force the website to save the changes. And once you've got that, you will go to Download. I personally tend to download as a JPEG for this kind of images. So select JPEG, click on Download, and it will automatically start downloading it to your computer. Uh, while it's doing this, I will just pause for a second. Okay, so our image was downloaded to our computer. In the meantime, I have uh, moved it to where I want it to be, which happens to be my desktop. And you can see there it is, my blog post image, 900 by 400, but it's still 264 kilobytes. Um, this image underneath is the same thing done with another piece of software, and you can see it's smaller. So what we're gonna do now is another step, which I've actually already dealt with on another um, video, but I'll just uh, remind you here, and you can go and watch the, the relevant video if you want more details. The second website here called tinynpg.com, which allows you to shrink um, a JPEG file quite quickly. So uh, once you're on that website, click on your file, go and find the file. Here it is. I'm going quite quickly on this one because there's a more detailed video um, on my website. Um, click, drag, drop it in here. And you will see now that that will shrink that 264 kilobyte image down to Suspense, 48 kilobytes. Uh, let me just pause again. Um, I'm going to download that image, sorry. So once you've done that, you can download the image. And while it's doing that, I'm just going to pause for a second. 
Okay, and um, I've now downloaded the image and I just took some time to put it in the right place on the, my website, on sorry, on my files, and there it is, um, that 48 kilobyte, which is a very small image, which is now ready to upload to our website. Um, there you go, I hope you found it useful. If you want more detail on the actual reduction of the file size, uh, check out my other video or blog post, which um, I uh, go through at a little, little slower pace, uh, which you may find useful. Thank you, goodbye.